Good afternoon, Jeff. This is Aaron from Transmutation Sciences with a quick tutorial on your Estate Luxury Auctions website. So when you log in, here's your dashboard. Uh, the key areas you're going to be looking at are slides right here. <coughs> now with slides, um, you can see here, I, I see you've added one. Uh, featured auction one two when you want to add a new one you click add new and um, click featured auctions uh, add the title of your slide this text right here uh, will show up on the bottom border and then you go down here to set featured image okay and then you can upload the image there um, you can of course um, alternatively um, upload the image into media, copy the link, post it here, and post the text. Uh, so for example, here's, uh, yes, I'm going to leave the page. Um, here are the slides. We do edit, and you can see how I did them here. I did both the featured image and descriptions in here uh, to keep this clean. Uh, so there you go. Now, um, portfolio items. So on the on your home page, um, you have these three items here. These are portfolio items, uh, and with portfolio items, it's virtually the same thing. You have an add new to add the new portfolio, and you then get this section here. You put in your title, put in all your content. Uh, click current auctions, which is what I called your portfolio, uh, figuring that you would maybe have uh, the really hot stuff in the slides and then uh, current auctions, hot auctions would also be uh, in your portfolio. So here we add the text, we add the title, we add the image down here in featured image, and uh, we are done. We click publish or update and it's ready to go. You can create additional portfolios um, simply by giving them a new name or an additional name. So old auctions or sold auctions or completed auctions or blah, blah, blah. Um, and that's pretty simple. <clears throat> Your theme is called El Yesca. And there's a number of theme options available to you. Uh, here you can change anything of the graphic look of it. Uh, when we finalize a logo, that's where I'll be putting that. And this is what I whipped up for you. Um, you can change the number of columns in your footer. In other words, down here, you can make it four or two if you want. Same for here. We don't have to have three portfolio items. We can have two or we could have four. It just changes the size of this image. <coughs> um, your home page, this is what's really cool. Let's say that you would prefer to have your portfolio items on the bottom because they're in the slider. You just drag and drop and that moves everything on the home page. So currently we have your slideshow, the slogan, content from a page, portfolio items, and the widgets. Well, let's say you don't want that slogan anymore. You take it out, bring it down here, click Save Changes, come up here, uh, hit Refresh. I forget where it is. And, and we hit Refresh, and now that slogan is gone, that call to action. So there you go. Now, obviously, I like having a slogan because anytime you can give a call to action on a website the better so I'm gonna put it back but you can change it however you want you can even put the slideshow after the slogan let's see how that looks I've never tried it that way um, and there you go so uh, anyway I'll change it back uh, give me a jingle if you have any problems or questions bye